morning everyone uh, we're going to do this this is an amazing sunset this is a photo submitted by one of my students Betsy who we all love and uh, we're going to begin with this see that yellow uh, I'm sorry I, I jumped into this but uh, there's a yellow patch around the Sun okay the Sun is setting so be very careful that's your whole painting there that piece getting that sun right and now we have this that's a really yellow and this is a uh, what I'm using here is opera which I rarely use but a student gave me a tube and it's a brighter pink than the quinacridone rose so you can see I put the yellow down the yellow was dry and then I went around it with the pink and then with a damp brush, I soften the edges around that so they sort of merge. But don't let it get too far into that yellow. Okay, but that's your whole painting right there. So there's the sun setting. You want it to reflect down into, uh, into the water there. So I'm taking a towel and just touching that. So it gives you that look of... Um, the reflective light. All right, this is just cobalt blue. I wet the paper first, as you can see. This is just cobalt blue. I'm just spreading it. You can see that staccato I'm doing with the brush. It creates some, uh, you know, effects that you might like in the clouds. But just enjoy that part of it. That's an easy part of it, the clouds. And watch. Just study out the photo and see how the clouds come down and and oh cover over some of the pink and turns it a beautiful violet gray color which is really nice you can keep dropping some color into that you keep working the clouds you know, enjoy the clouds use don't forget you always have your towel uh, your towel is a really important tool for us try not to get too many hard edges there uh, I'm just laying in the paint now you'll see I'm going to go in go in with the towel all right, so it's reflecting down into the water here. Adding more cobalt. This is just cobalt blue in the water. I'll just keep adding colors till I get the clouds that I want. Okay, and you can see, there it is. I dried it, and now I'm just uh, finishing the bottom of the painting with just a beautiful rose. Uh, uh, violet color you know that's just cobalt blue with with the uh, Quinn Rose actually I used there all right now we're putting the land in so you can see how that white is your whole painting okay this is ultramarine with quinacridone sienna which gives you that beautiful black but this isn't black I charged it with the quinacridone rose so it's a very it's hard to see in the video and I'm sorry for that but uh, in front of the sun, you want to get weaker and more color, a little more color, because it's a little more transparent. I'm using a flat brush, just placing some, some rooftops up there, give you the impression that there's houses and a little chimney here and there. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so that's the land, which is really nice. So this is all flooded area here. And what we're doing now is it's just going to take this dark color and come right down, adding, you know, bushes. And this, this is just grass coming up out of the marsh. This is a marsh flooded. You know, it's a flooded marsh. And the sun is reflecting down into that flooded water. So first, we're just getting this down. So, you, you know, I'm putting it in pretty rough here, but using the same color, basically, that ultramarine with quinacridone sienna which gives you a beautiful black and then I charged it with some rose uh, to add some of the reflective color so you can see and now I'm, I'm just taking a I'm speeding that up all right I'm, I'm taking a uh, fan brush here a stiff fan brush and just adding so what's happening here is the you know the grass is coming up but obviously but it's also coming down, it's reflecting into the water, so you get a chance to go both ways with this uh, reflective, these reflective uh, light here of, of the grass. So it's really fun. 
uh, and you can see it's a nice painting. You know, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice sunset. Sunsets are, are definitely advanced watercolor. You really need to take your time, and you really so be careful. You can see now that that uh, you know I'm just putting the grass in, but you can see how important that yellow is. Uh, when you put that yellow in, make sure you save that sunlight and the sun and the grass. The, the land goes through the middle of the sun, so and then the rose on the bottom is just the reflection of the uh, water, you know, the sky into the water and so forth. That beautiful uh, violet color is really nice. So this is a fun painting. It, it's a it's a fast painting, you know. We're only uh, a short time into it, but it's a lot of fun. So give it a shot, enjoy it, and uh, I want to thank you again for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon.